Hey guys, and welcome back to Satisfactory! It's the latest ecological disaster simulator from Coffee Stain Studios. They're the guys that did Goat Simulator, in case you're wondering. They've also done some other stuff, but that is by far the most of uh, most popular one that they have done. We are in the title screen because I want to say, hey, if you've not seen the like the pre-release that I did, go out and check that. If you have, welcome back. We're going to be doing a new game. Yes, indeed. Last time we started on the grassy fields and that was like all early access and stuff like that. I mean, no, this is early access. That was all alpha test weekend and stuff like that. We've got some other areas that we can explore here and I think I'm going to go for the rocky desert, mainly because it seems that they go up in difficulty and I think the northern forest might be a little bit harder. You can see a lush but uh, a small but lush mountainous area surrounded by varied biomes making building harder but biomass a common resource. No, no, let's go with a desert, shall we? And this is going to be YouTube for... That's... You, you, you be? No, no, YouTube friends. <laughs> Alright, as simple as that. I'm going to put it on a friends only. I don't know if anybody's ever going to join me or anything like that, but I want to have the ability to be able to do so. Now, this intro is long, so I'll cut out some bits that are very important and I'll meet you on the planet side. Attention, pioneer. Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work. Use provided blueprints to build, chart the planet, and gather resources. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries through automation and augmentation. That's it. Know what? I've done that intro like four times now, and every time I'm like, three and a half minutes of intro where I can't do anything but stare out of a screen or a window might be a little much. It might be. Alright, so we've landed in a beautiful new section over here. Look at this. I'm going to talk all over, Ada, but the thing you need to note here is your designated sector in the binary star system. I'm going to be ranting about that a lot, that there's a binary star system. Remember that. Okay, so we, we've got all through what Ada has to say. She said that like this is a non, non-waste non society, so whenever we break stuff down, we get all the parts back. That's pretty good. Now, the hub parts come from my drop pod, as you know, and we're going to put the, the pod, the, the hub somewhere very sort of out of the way but first we need to uh, do some some things that they, they want us to do we need to equip ourselves with a weapon and also we need to do a little scan thing here now it's not gonna let us do it straight away because for some reason we have to do the intro in very specific orderings now the moment i landed i saw that over there you see that little drop pod but i see that we've got a bad guy there now that's fine i can definitely live with that is that two bad guys that's still fine we're gonna go for a little bit of combat all right here we go here we go here we go uh we're gonna for the first sort of five minutes or so of this episode go for a bit of an explore and get ourselves right that was a little bit more dangerous than expected uh, and get ourselves sorted and acclimated to the brand new area that we're in i mean look at this place ah oh, isn't it lovely it's not quite as lovely as the green lush area that we uh, we did in the uh, in the so test weekend and the uh, the fighting trick that i'm gonna give to everyone is wait until they get close sidestep and slap that, that, that's pretty much all you need to do. All right, I saw this from a distance away, and I have no idea what it actually is. Let's go and look around. Is it just just the, uh, salvage? Is that the only thing we found here? We've got some uh, wire. I'll take the wire. That's pretty nice. Okay, so it looks like it's a crashed pod of some description. Now, something that I do remember that we got uh, told when we were landing is that we are number three to survive Planetfall. This looks like one of the ones that didn't survive Planetfall. Well, anyway, we've had ourselves an expl exploration, and we've got ourselves some uh, dead animal parts. Very important. But let's do a ping and see where the iron is. Now, I think it's over that way. I think we've got iron over this way. The mountains look pretty strong. We've got a 300 over there. Uh, five, six. Uh, sorry, that's a six. That's a six. I'm probably going to go for this one. I, I, I don't actually have any reason for that. Towards the mountain. Yeah, north. Let's do that. Should have pointed out there's various things on this planet to pick up if I uh, grab that barrel nut and then put it in my hand. Yes, Ada, I know, I know, I know. Minor healing properties. If you look to my left-hand side, the bottom left down there, you can see I've got a health bar and barrel nuts. Every barrel nut that I eat gives me half a health back. That's pretty tasty. Is it me or for a rocky desert in this area, like, really lush? Like, look at it. I shouldn't really be getting this much biomass right uh, i was kind of expecting that to be a bit of a bit of a bottleneck but no turns out you just got to keep going 400 that that is quite a walk ha huh. there's a river well explains why this bit's lush explains that can i can i cross this no problem i have not so much as touched water during this entire time that i've played this game dropping that ah uh, ah uh, there's no f i mean like there looks like there's flow but it's not really doing anything for me that's a that's a shame that is a great shame 
Bing! So we've got some iron over that way, but more importantly, have you guys seen this little crack in the rock here? I'm not sure if it's something that I can actually work my way down and into. Let's get this out. Uh, exploration going on nice and early, it turns out. I was going to show you guys all about the hub and stuff like that, but no, no, no. We're going to crawl our way into this little crack and then be like, well, where's it even going? Uh, honestly, where is it even going? Are we going to find some stuff? Is this just caving in the most extreme? I don't know. All right, I appear to have found the end of the walk. That's that's pretty rubbish. That's pretty rubbish, actually, as it happens. I was kind of hoping we'd find more stuff in here. Is this is this another walkway? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not the end of the walk. Maybe this is the end of the walk. I know. It, it's lots of distancing. Bam, we found a thing. Unfortunately, it's a thing that we know is not working right now because, look, whip. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, so we've got some iron here. For reference, I was literally just going through the cave at the bottom of this cliff here i'm not sure if we're going to be able to actually see the cave but it's it's kind of like down amongst that lot uh and we landed just just over there in that desert we came across all the water went oh look water um water desert water who'd have thought uh, and we have found this area over here now I, the reason that i've started talking before even going to look at the iron is um this thing here what are you what are you are you a, like a new type of fruit that i can get that would be pretty okay all right fine um gone are we are we supposed to be what I'm like this is new please please give me alone i do not want to be zapped I, I, zap okay that that's pretty good i mean are these guys even actually deadly to me there was another one around oh uh, there he is hi are you oh ow yes uh, damage property to uh, damage to fix it property please don't do that uh, that that's pretty cool. Like this one, this is hard to hit. Like the other one, the other two, really easy. That one, no. Okay, so we get some uh, some new pickup from it, right? There's that. Are you kidding me? At alien carapace. Um, the reason I'm like, are you kidding me? Is that that's what we got off the other guys that we killed. But anyway, we found some iron. Woo! So this seems like a good place to put down our hub. Let's stop and think about it for a moment. We're going to put some buildings down on here. Not to begin with, but we will. And then we want some room to, like, smelt things up. Is, is this really where we want to be? Is there another... Are there other sources of other material around? I don't know. That's the thing. At this early point of the game, who knows what's around? Okay, we've got more iron literally just behind me. Uh, can I come through here? So this is where we fought the bug. And then over that way, that's where we've got some more iron. All right, I'm going to set up my hub. But instead of doing it... In the middle here, where that, like, they kind of recommend that you put things in between everything so you have uh, nice and easy access. I'm probably going to put it at the top here and run some power lines down just to... Uh... Was it? Oh, it's the bird! Ah, oh, he was like twisted in a weird way and it made me not realise what was going on. Oh, look at this over here. Oh, I'm going to go for a small explore and see if there's anything worth uh, making a noise about. Oh. It's another crash site. It wasn't quite what I was looking for. I'm uh, trying to find copper and the limestone just to make sure that I'm not going to settle down in an area where I have to like run miles for everything, in particular the limestone, because that's uh, that's concrete foundations there. But look, we've got two of these guys. That means that we're going to have six of the bugs after us, but I'm, I'm suspecting that it's worth it for things like this. Like, what's this? Yeah, I'll take the iridium beams. I don't know what that's about, but I'll take it. Man, what, what else we got going here? Is that an item we can get? That's an item we can get right there. So's that. We're going to have to go in and fight them somehow. I don't know which one. Run, 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 run. Pull it and walk off. Be like, flap, get out of my way. In case iridium beams are good. Industrial beams. I've totally misread that. Man, there's there's more of them. There's more of them. There's four, not three. Oh, they both broke. That's why. Okay, that's, that's okay. I'm a little bit concerned about my health, but not overly. As long as I can do that then we should be fine there's another one there <coughs> get out of my face and everything will be fine okay what else do we find in here then is this a computer i'll pick that up these are all parts that i have no idea what we're going to do with um like th this encased industrial beam no idea no idea at all some motors no idea no idea what they're used for open drop pod mm -mm. yeah go on then uh so we press that can i please uh, it needs four rotors. Unfortunately, I've only picked up motors. Uh, that's a bit of a shame and can't do that. Hmm. All right, we'll be back for this. Uh, I might have found a copper node. Um, crash site over there. The uh, iron's just the other side of those rocks. I'm not I'm not entirely solved. Oh, wow, look at this. What is this? What is this? I've, I've found a new area, right? 
maybe? I mean, I'm, I'm dead if I drop down there. But look at this. Woo. So I'm going to assume that the one we just left is also a copper node. You guys see him there. That one over there. But there is another copper node just that way. This guy is going to kill me. Uh, I've tried fighting these guys a couple of times. He definitely knows where I am, doesn't he? Um, unfortunately, they, they fired giant, giant bolts of nasty. That said, I think I've duped him. I don't, know, I don't know where he's gone. I don't know where he's gone. I think I, I think I got rid of him. I just walked around in a circle and, and off he went. Uh, also, if you're wondering why I'm picking up all the leaves, that's where all the power comes from. All the power. It, what is that? Let's go and have a look. It's another iron ore. Right, okay. So it's an iron ore that's on its own. If I do a little ping, does it tell me that that... No, it doesn't tell me that there is a... Uh, a, a mining zone here. So I find that very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I didn't know that was a thing that could happen. And there's my limestone. Bam. Literally just turned around. I'm not even sure if I made a cut there. It was such a short pause. All right. Well, this is the iron zone. That's the copper. There's the limestone. Let's get this going. I was going to slam my hub down, wasn't I? So let's do that. I'm going to pop it like all the way over here. I'm going to keep it all properly out of the way of everything else that I want to build. I might even come and put it up on this little plateau here. So if I press Q, I thought I could press Q. It turns out that's not. Okay, that's a thing. Why? All right, coffee stay. I'll do things in the very specific order you want them done in. Let's let's all get some ore before we do anything. Oh, new incoming message. Build the hub. Who'd have thought? Amazing how awkward the hub can be to place down on a little slope like this. But thankfully, we've got some support struts, so that's pretty good. Now, Ada's going to tell us all about how we need to upgrade all these tiers. Uh, Ada, can you please go away? Like, oh, really? So Ada's going to tell us all about upgrading these tiers. Now, you guys, if you went and watched the test weekend footage, you've seen all this before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my way through the majority of these. You can see it's all like iron rods and iron rods and, and wire and then iron rods, concrete and stuff. It's, it's all fairly self easy and explanatory. And if I get my way all the way up to all the way up to the end here, uh, in fact, not even there, up to number four, we can then start building the buildings that make a lot more sense than the way that they want you to do it. So I'm just going to go straight for that and I'll bring you back when we've got hub upgrade level four. That is level four. That's pretty good. We're going to get incoming messages about additional features and stuff like that. But let's have a look at what we've actually opened up now. So we've got a miner, smelter, constructor. These are... Please, please Ava, Ada. Don't, don't, don't do that. Uh, so we... Uh, do you know one thing that really annoys me about this game? I'm just going to have a quick little rant here. Is that the build menu and the personal inventory are two separate buttons that are right next to each other. Which, you know, it's fair enough, whatever. But I end up opening up the build menu when I'm trying to get my inventory and the inventory when I'm trying to get my build menu. Ah, anyway. Miners, smelters, and constructors. You might think that these work along in a line. You would be right there. Uh, we need to get a few materials together. But let's go and throw these things down over there. Okay, let's pick this little portable miner up here and go into the menu for some reason. The hub's just over there. Iron patch are there. We're going to grab the miner and, of course, orientate it just in this direction. That, that's fine. That sounds uh, great. Let's uh, go on up this little ladder here and see how we're looking. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. That's how we're looking. So we're outputting from this line here. I want to come into here, grab a smelter. You can see it's got a little, uh, like, on the grid line here. So I'm going to make use of that. This is just a temporary thing because this machine is not going to output exactly enough for that machine. It's going to be a bit, a little bit over and then that machine's not going to do the, is going to do the same for the next machine. Uh, but if I'm going to grab a conveyor belt, pop it into there. Not overly keen on the, uh, the altitude difference, the elevation difference, but I will get used to it, I'm supposing. Well, actually, what's actually going to happen is I'm going to do this again for limestone. You don't need the smelter. You just go straight to the constructor. Can I actually climb up on this one? I can actually climb up on this one. 
Beautiful. You can go straight to the constructor, as I'm about to put down now, and turn um, your limestone into concrete, which is what you need for a foundation that very much looks like it's made out of metal. But, you know, that's that's my own personal taste there. Uh, we pop that over into that one, and that should make an entire system. First, we need to um, configure most things. Now, this one doesn't because it's the only one thing it can mine up. That's going to produce... Uh, or for the smelter to turn into ingots and then uh, all ingots that come along here are going to go into here and we're going to make some iron plates and there is one thing that I forgot to make enough stuff for into the organization we've got a storage container and yeah I don't have the iron rods of all things iron rods bam storage container all right that's nice now these should be producing all the way down the line okay but the problem is we don't have power hooked up to here that's a little bit of an oversight because i have not done any power up until this point it's mainly so that i can come here and explain to you oh wow that's a bit of a jump Ugh! well anyway we've got these biomass burners on the back of our hub here uh if i press this you can see there's no connection that's fine you can either throw some leaves in there I mean, that's kind of all right, but I'm not going to do that. If you take the leaves and you mash them up in your craft bench or in a constructor, uh, you can get some biomass, and that's much better for what I want. I'm going to press 2 and get my power line out. Now, normally, you can just, like, connect straight up to a building over there. Actually, that's too far away, but that's fine. Uh, or if you place it down somewhere where there isn't a connection, it will put one of these power poles down for you. Now, it's a little awkward because you can't quite see the entirety of the thing you're trying to place, but I'm going to go with that. That looks pretty good. I'm sure at some point... This is going to end up being uh, like a split pathway for like a truck or something. And one they'll go one side of, uh, they'll go one way on one side and one way on the other. Mm -hmm. All right. So the thing we've got to watch out for is this can only take four connections. So whilst we're great running a line out like uh, this, um, we're not going to have any problems. When we get over to actually powering this system over here, we're going to have to think more about it because it will be better if we have them like trunk lining on the way over this way and then you take actual power poles i don't know let's think about it now that, that'll be fine we can take the power straight to that but one of the things we're going to have to do is constantly rearrange this power system uh it's going to be fun and frolics for all the family let's have a look here what have we got okay we are consuming less than we are producing that is nice do we have things flowing we do all right nice so the ore comes out of here as previously explained goes into the uh, the, the sm smelter sorry let's throw some syllables out there and maybe it'll work and then the ingots from the smelter will carry on down this is quite a long uh long conveyor belt for something that i'm just trying to show quickly it goes into the constructor the constructor produces whatever item it is that i've told it produce uh, single ingredient items very important because uh, at some point we can make uh reinforced plates but you need a new machine for it because it takes two different items to produce it and then these just kind of make their way into the storage container and that's going to take a little while to build up so i'm going to make another one of those on this one for iron rods uh, and then i'm going to go to the copper and the limestone and do the same on there and i will show you those when i'm done and as the sun rises, I can say, look at these power lines. We've got one coming all the way out here to the concrete, the limestone, which we're then mashing up into concrete, which for some reason is saying no power. Ah, did we overload the system? Hang about, let's have a look. I'll still continue my tour around of the things that we've just done. Yeah, look at that. We've slightly overloaded the system. That's fine, because that will move straight on to the next thing I want to do. So we've got concrete being made here because, uh, you know, uh, foundations are made entirely of concrete and that's that's kind of what I want you know that's that's a, a nice level thing it's it's all good putting uh, buildings down wherever they go but look at like the height differences that happen between these three machines wouldn't it be great if we put them on a flat floor or perhaps even if we had some sort of multi-leveled structure where we like smelted things at the bottom and then we passed them up to the constructor so here we have the copper mine going to the copper smelter going into the wire production and I've learned my lesson, and I'm going to put a cable production on the end of this, but I only brought enough stuff to make a wire. Now, it's kind of fortuitous that we ran out of power here. I say kind of because, you know, we never really want to be running out of power. But I have started putting down a few foundations on the hub. Oh, man, I'm actually a lot further away than I thought I was. Also, there's a, there's a bad guy over here somewhere. Or is this the one that I killed most recently? No, no, there he is. There he is. 
Uh, gonna, gonna have to go and take him over at some point so I can have his uh, precious, precious iron resources. But you can see my hub. It's got this little bit of a skirt on it now. I could do it with a ramp on this side and maybe some ramps on this side. But I was also thinking of uh, building out that way, so maybe not. But I've got a, got a little ramp here and we go around to the biomass burners. Let's make sure that these didn't run out of uh, biomass first. Okay, that's cool. I want to build some more foundations. I might even put foundation. Let me put this all the way on zero. Yeah, that's going to be cool. And then we can just kind of like slap a few down right on the side here. I think I might even have to build off this bit. Okay, that's that's cool. So we're going to start and work on a biomass factory. Now, this should be nice and simple. Well, you've got access to the biomass uh, producer. Here's the power. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. We need to upgrade some more. That's fine, though. Oh. What? So how am I supposed to power this off of what I've got going? I've not I've not exactly been over the top with my machines, have I? No. So how, how did they expect us to run this off of two machines? All right, let's go and have a look in the hub here and see what we need. Okay, so I've got enough wire and enough concrete just out of the stuff that I made on me, and hopefully my machines have produced enough wire. We've definitely got enough iron plates. In fact, I want to just break that down into a slightly smaller pile there. But do we have the iron rods? Now, this is a machine that I actually forgot to set up to begin with and ended up having to, uh, to retroactively get it working. Okay, so that's... Oh, just sure. Oh, that hurts. I'm literally going to have to dig some iron by hand. Oh. That said, this is a pure node. Look at this. Iron ore, pure. What about this one over here? Does this say that it's pure or is this one... Yeah, oh, nice. Which means these are making, like, ridiculous amounts, right? Yeah, okay, that's 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 cool. That's really cool, look. Okay, this does 30, so that's 100. That's four of those. Wow. But to one one um, miner, I need four smells. That, that, is, that is unbelievable. That is amazing. And there's just a couple of clickety clicks to finish this off. All right. And now we should be able to actually build. Oh, look at that. It just did it for me. And I think if I remember correctly, look at all those upgrades. But somewhere, there it is. Do you see it coming down? Oh, that's amazing. Ada, I really am trying to talk. But this, this is just amazing. I've said this a couple of times during the test weekend and now during this episode. Things falling from the sky. It's just cool. All right, something else that we need to have a look at now that we've done this is uh, let's go for the alien carapace. Uh, come on in to here. We've got this thing called the ma'am. And she did just say what it was um, that that meant. But this basically means that we can do some scanning. And I'm all about that. I'm going to click here and I'm going to hit go. Now, someone asked me if I could, like show the scanning process on screen now to me i think that means that someone is misinterpreted and thinks that more is going on here than actually is i'm gonna go make a cup of tea and leave this running and we can watch it happen i'll speed it up um and you can see the entire process from start to end Oh, I don't know if anybody else noticed. The analysis of this complete, and like Ada's going to say some words in the background. But there was a face that popped up. Did anybody else see that? It that popped up a couple of times. Uh, uh, yeah, th thanks, Ada. That's that. That's great. Uh, whoa. So ma maybe maybe that's what I was being told about. Maybe I I was the person who didn't realise there was stuff going on. All right, I'm going to put this barrel nut in here. Uh, and just to see if anything's going on over there. I, I realized that maybe I didn't look at this during the alpha test weekend. And I, I mean, honestly, look at it. Uh, just this whole game, actually. Just look at it, guys. Just look at it. Okay, and with the addition of these two biomass burners to our system, that is technically my starter base done. I've got iron rods and plates being made. I've got concrete being made. And I've got wires being made. I could easily uh, rebalance the machines down here. As I was saying, those uh, mining machines are pretty strong compared to the smelters. And the smelters are also actually pretty strong compared to the constructors. So that could do with more of everything as you go down the line. Sort of like a massive pyramid section, right? But I want to show you, so you guys something. Whilst we're just going to let everything um, work on in the background, we will uh, go and have a look at something. Okay, so on the other side of the concrete factory, just down from the copper, uh, this was my main thoroughfare. You can see where the wire goes. But over this way, I, I noticed something whilst I was sorting out the, the copper up there. Look, 
There's a whole sort of walkway down to whatever this salt flats is down here. I assume salt flats. I can't, can't think what else it would be. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to find down here. I'm hoping, actually, we find some salt deposits because that would be pretty tasty. I don't know if they exist in the world or not. Uh, I'm just kind of making that up based on what I see here. What are you? We'll go have a look. It might be dead. Just look at this place, guys. Stunning. That's the it's the only word for it. Absolutely stunning. Even if with this weird fog, <laughs> that 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 lighting effect there proper put me on. It's an it's another whip. Uh, do I do I want to be carrying another whip around? I do. I don't have this one. I put it into the uh, into the box. Uh, I definitely want to go have a look in here though. I don't know if we're gonna find anything interesting. It all just looks like flat sand expanse. I suppose the different rock is somewhat interesting. We've also got uh, water here. No, 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 it's just shadow. <laughs> so what? what's this? They're, they're cracked? They're broke? That's new. Are you going to try and hurt me, or are you just a type of mushroom? Pick beacon, uh, bacon agaric. Like ba bacon... This like like fly agaric. Minor healing, props. minor healing props. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's a new thing to have a look at. What are you? Are you a type of rock? You're not. What are you, though? Is this an area that's yet to be unlocked? Is this... Am I seeing, like, a dev wall, if you will? Because look at this type of rock. Look at that type of rock. Then look at this type. It's very different. Very different. It might just be a, uh, like, uh, look at this, it's something interesting, but yeah, there, there we go. That seems to be all there is to uh, find down here. I'm definitely going to scan these bacon bits up, though. Keep forgetting I've got a torch. Uh, torch, very useful in little areas like this. Okay, day at the beach isn't complete without going for a paddle in the water. Is this water? Oh, I'm already, like, splashing around in it. So this, this edge of the water here does not look like an edge of water. Okay, so it comes up actually to here. Man, you can only really tell because I, I see what they're going for. Because if there's one thing I dislike about water, it's the hard edge, like end, if you will. Uh, because that's not how water looks. But also, it doesn't quite look like that either. Can we go underwater? Is that is that a thing? Am I am I surface restricted only? I think I might be. The fact that I can actually swim uh, is highly intriguing. Yeah, I literally cannot find a button to go down. That's a bit of a shame, but not not one that's really going to stop me. I've noticed that my uh, my hot hot bar shortcuts on the uh, the bottom right there haven't filled out. I've only just noticed that. Even the scanning isn't being shown. Ah, uh, it's because I'm in the water. Okay, I can't build. I can't destroy. I can't scan. I can use my torch. I can open the mail, and I can get into my inventory. Now that that last one kind of in, uh, surprises me. Didn't think that would be. A I'm not totally sure this place has been fleshed out. I'm not sure if this line here is the edge of the map. I mean, like, look where these mountains drop into the water. I, I'm not, I'm not convinced that that is how they wanted it to look. All right, back at the ma'am. I think we had something here. The barrel nut was going, and she's going to want to say something about this. So let's uh, let her say some stuff. So we've got a blueprint in hub tier one. Now this should be nice and easy to do. With so we scan items in the world. We come to the hub and then we get given a uh, tier one, an object scanner item. We select the milestone and we click that. You might be like, what's the object scanner? Um, I will show you that in a second. That's that's not actually going to fly. So one of the things that I've noticed is milestones. This pod goes and flies off places. But like these object scanners, no, it just kind of keeps it. I don't, I don't know what it does. Maybe maybe saves it for the next next uh, hall. Uh, the reason I wanted to talk about the object scanner, it was uh, the last hub upgrade here. Uh, I, I very rarely actually ever make one, so let's do one just for giggles. We're going to make three of these things and make an object scanner. Okay, we need 50 screws and four reinforced iron plates. Man, doesn't want much, does it? All right, object scanner one. Let's take one of these, and I've got to be honest, I have never made one of these before, so be prepared for a very confused little few minutes as I try and figure out what's going on. So we've got to fix it. We can scan for power slugs, which is interesting. I didn't know that was what we were going to do there. But press and hold C, what have we got? No, that's not the one I'm looking for. Um, how, do, how do I scan for power slugs? How does this work? I've got a little, like, uh, dial on the bottom. Does that indicate what I'm supposed to be looking for? No, I've got a feeling I'm going to have to go and have look up how this works. All right, right-clicking changes the thing we're looking for left click aha press and hold and then you can get that menu uh, but it doesn't seem to actually scan maybe it's because we don't have any around oh, okay we've got a yellow light up top now okay it doesn't really give me any 
indication anywhere. I'm listening for the noises. I don't know if that's that's right or not. Let's walk about for a little bit, shall we? Did you did you hear that? Which which way? This way. Okay, we've got noises. Aha! Oh, that's really close. That's really close. I'm not I'm not overly sold on that as a scanning method. But okay, well that that's that. Let's try and find the power slug next. What does the blue light mean? I don't know. I don't know. But listening out, do we get anything any in any direction? No. So I'm not No, I'm not sure how to interpret that. Maybe there's something on the wiki about the object scanner. That that'd be not I've not looked at the wiki yet actually for the game. Uh, you would have thought that this would have come with a little bit more... Oh. Ah, there it is. I can see it, though. I'll keep it on me. I'm bound to use it for something. But anyway, we were talking about the ma'am. <laughs> little, little tangent there. Uh, I've also got the bacon. Let's put that in and see what it says about this. Five minutes. Oh, look how big it is. Like, uh, seriously, coffee stain. Is that, is that what you want? Is that really what... I've, I've got to say, <clears throat> I've been walking around this little biome for a little while now. I don't think it's so bad here. Over by the other iron patch over that way, there's a lot of ground scatter that's just, like, janked up into the sky. I'm not sure if I can see anything like it here. Like, this is, this is the type of place where it will happen. Yeah, look at that. But lots of floaty things like that around at the moment. And I get early access, early access. There's a lot of scalings and just general polish that hasn't happened. So, uh, looking forward to seeing that all get smoothed out. Look at this one! You know what? Sunsets aren't half bad on this planet. Anyway, with the process, proceeds, sorry, that we got from the walk on the on the beach, uh, by proceeds, I mean with the with the stuff that the factory made whilst I was walking away. I made this thing. I've got a storage container for leaves and a storage container for wood. I don't have any wood, but uh, I would put that in there. This one is making biomass out of the leaves. This one will be making biomass out of the wood. Uh, when I get the mergers, these two will be merging behind to come and put biomass into this storage container, which will eventually be making biofuels here, but I don't have access to the biofuels because I need to upgrade the hub. Let's go and have a look and see exactly what it is we need for that particular upgrade. We've got the utilities and select that milestone. Ah, it's all just stuff that the, the base is producing, so that should be nice and easy. Man, that's a run, and I'm thinking at some point I'm going to have a wall of storage containers, each one containing a different item, uh, and then having the base feed all of those storage con uh, yeah, feed all those storage containers, and then we can take out of those storage containers for, like, say, taking to the space elevator or something. I don't think the wall will work if we're doing that, though, unless we're very clever about how to do it, because, of course, we have conveyor belts going in the back and out the front, and then where would we stand to select, like, the middle one out of the 12 uh, array? Yeah, that'd be interesting. Easy. All right, let's hit that, and we should get the uh, the the, the, the biofuel. That's what I'm talking about. The biofuel. So Ada's like, well done. You've got a whole load, look, whole load of new parts. That's cool. I just want the biofuel. Now I've got to think. Uh, oh, 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 where is it? Where is it? It's the it's the light from the sun. Okay, so the, this is kind of moonrise, if you will. But no. Do you remember how back at the beginning I was like, hey, remember that they say it's a binary star system. So I, I'm assuming this is another star. During the whole test weekend, I was like, that's not a moon. That, there's no way that's a moon. That's got to be a white dwarf or a neutron star or something like that. And I was like, yeah, that's too, too calm to be a neutron star. But anyway, astrophysics aside, um, well, in fact, no, this is very much about astrophysics. One sun went down, the other one came back up. And that's going to happen again in the morning, right? This one's going to go down and the other one's going to come back up. For starters, like... The way cones work, I mean, like these things must be very close for us not to see them both in the same uh, in the sky at any one time, right? Uh, if they were very far away, you know, like stars are, we should be able to see them for um, uh, quite quite some time, not not less than half their travel journey, anyway. Um, but more importantly, so that one's over there, and that one's over there. And how does that work? Like, which one are we orbiting? Are we just in the middle spinning, and then these two are going round? I, I, don't, I don't know. The whole sort of idea of how this place is lined up, I, I just I just do not know. I know it's not a constructor that I want. It is the storage container. Yeah, I have no idea what 
what uh, Coffee Sane Studios want us to believe here, but trying to uh, interpret the signals just leaves me with a bit of a headache. And with the rising of the yellow star, all that's left to do is for me to issue an apology. Sorry, guys, I didn't quite realise that the episode was going to run as long as we did. We went around and we got, like, most of the starting base set up, but more importantly, we went and explored this lush, new, diverse biome that we are in, uh, mainly so that we didn't sort of massively overlap with what happened in the test weekend, putting some new content out there. Talking of new content, this is the first of an episode, uh, first of a series, so I'm going to do the standard YouTube thing. If you've enjoyed it, please do feel free to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't beforehand, and uh, share this with your friends. I'm sure this game is going to intrigue more than a few of them. But with that, I would like to ask you guys what we're going to do next time. Obviously, there's kind of three objectives that we can meet. We can upgrade the base, we can upgrade, sorry, upgrade the hub, hit the milestones. Uh, we can hit the milestones, we can upgrade the factory, there is definitely a lot we could do with the iron over there, uh, and we could definitely do with an extra limestone. Or we can go on a massive explore. Look at this place. What's over that way? What's over this way? I don't know where any of it is. Um, pick two options, guys. Fix up the base, fix up the milestones, go on and explore. Put it down in the comments and I will do that. But I will see you then, when we are going to do that. Bye!